Hey guys, so have you ever had this screen just after you finish reprogramming a computer and like what, like what went wrong? So pretty much here's how to fix this. And what went wrong is um, it's the boot order in which um, the boot set, the boot order setting in the BIOS is actually the issue. So let me show you. Um, if I should turn this off, right? And I press uh, and I pull it on once more, and I press F12. I'm just pressing F12. So once it boots up in the setup menu, all right. Look at this. If I go into um, the default, as you can see, the default um, boot sequence is Windows Boot Manager. Then the second one is the EFI hard drive. If I should click on the EFI hard drive, right? Boom, the computer comes up. So let me teach you how we can fix this permanently. Cause let me show you. If I should pour off this computer right now, which I'm going to do, and um, press back the power button. It's gonna go back to the default screen as in in the valid partition table. So let's fix this. Okay. So we want to power off the computer again. Um, so now what we're going to do is pour it back on. Press F2. So now what we're looking for is we're looking for the option to change the boot sequence so that the hard drive can be the main one. So now what we need to do is navigate over to boot sequence right and um, this is where we'll get it started okay so i'm um, sorry about this glitching glare and stuff it's just that the lighting is a bit bad so once you would have clicked on boot sequence here um we know that it, uh, it's efi so you click on efi right and then now this is the boot sequence so here is exactly where the problem lies and um, what you want to do is you want to put the boot manager as second and um, the EUFI hard drive as first now what we're going to do is we're going to click on apply right so now that settings has been synchronized into the BIOS so you click exit and boom it should boot up without having an issue with that same partition issue here's the Dell lo logo um, and it's spinning up so it's kind of a whole model computer but it's pretty much the same concept so the thing that they say the time that is going to take to boot up and also the windows was just reinstalled so just showing you guys that this actually works. Taking forever, but you know, it's just because it's a new Windows pre-install, so. I'm also going to do a video on how to do a boot of a thumb drive. So if you guys are interested in that one, you know, I'll, whenever I post it, I'll leave a link in this video in the description box so you can find it. So pretty much there we have it. It's working.